Hi everybody. The topic for this video is beauty. And uh, I don't exactly know what I'm going to talk about. I'm just planning to improvise. But I, I have a starting point. Thomas More in Care of the Soul talks about the soul's need for beauty. And uh, I can certainly relate to this. I feel that uh, our need for beauty is is perhaps as important as our need for um, food, water, sleep. We need to have enough beauty in our lives. And beauty takes so many forms. Um, beauty is certainly related to love, like when people behave uh, towards us with love and care. We see that as beautiful. That's an aspect of beauty. It's a very powerful aspect of beauty that we need, uh, that our soul needs. Um, there's also the beauty of nature and how important it is to surround ourselves with um, with nature that could be calm, like um, walking through a forest on uh, a day that's not windy, um, or looking at a lake, uh, or a tumultuous, like walking by the ocean um, when the... the the waves are crashing against the shore. That can be exhilarating and another form of beauty. So, um, human beings try to capture beauty when they make art. And these videos are in a very modest way, some form of art. I see my channel as a form of art. Um, very modest. Um, there's just me making the videos, as you probably noticed. Um, but um, I'm trying to get at beauty because I feel like beauty is a spiritual and a soulful dimension of life that needs to be nourished regularly. Um, I'm very responsive to music. Where I live, there aren't um, art galleries that have um, ancient works of art from the Western tradition. I don't live in a city like New York, London, or Paris. So I don't have visual art to, to look at on a regular basis, but I do have um, lots of nature where I live, um, and we're very lucky to live in a time, if you're a music lover, to be able to stream music um, for very cheaply and get such a wide variety of music. So I listen to a lot of music every day, um, and it, it connects me with the beauty that I that I crave. Maybe crave is too strong a word because we associate it with addiction, but it's beauty that I need. I need to connect with beauty. There's also um, the visual beauty of other people. So there can be the beauty of an act of kindness or of love, as I've mentioned, but also physical beauty. And uh, I feel that we're drawn to physical beauty, and often we don't know what to do um, when, when we experience that incredible pull and attraction, captivation that comes with with uh, experiencing the physical beauty of other human beings. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I put my videos up um, channeling the, the beautiful energy of these powerful women figures in my life who I found physically beautiful and spiritually beautiful. My mother, my aunt, and my sister. And um, particularly my aunt, I learned from her um, about presentation as a woman. Um, I learned about jewelry, earrings, necklaces, um, what are called in India bangles um, that go on your wrist. Um, and I learned about clothes um, because I feel my aunt had great taste. Um, so I, I try to, I, you know, I reflect my tastes in my videos based on a somewhat limited budget for clothing. Um, so you can see a number of clothing items repeated in several videos. Um, but the, vi the videos express what I consider to be beautiful in some way. Um, and so I hope they're nourishing and I'm really encouraged by so many comments that people find the characters in the video beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, we, we sometimes call sexuality dirty, but I think the opposite is true. 
um, we need to, to celebrate sexuality in all its diversity as long as there are consenting adults involved um, you can you can express so much of your personality and your soul through your sexuality and it can be such a, a vital flowing living part of who you are um, so I think that that sexuality has a lot of beauty and a lot of sacredness associated with it. Um, so those are some improvised ideas on beauty, um, how important beauty is to me, um, how a notion of beauty informs this channel, how I aspire to beauty. Um, and uh, I'll just mention in closing, when I was um, in high school, my, my grade 11 and grade 12, I read biographical novels of first Michelangelo and then Van Gogh, and I thought uh, it would be wonderful to be a great artist, um, even with all the ups and downs that come with that, emotionally and temperamentally. Now I'm definitely not so sure, um, uh, and I have mixed feelings about identifying as an artist, but just to say that when I was, even when I was um, young, like 15 and 16, um, beauty meant so much to me, and these visual artists had such a powerful effect, the stories of their lives and looking at their work, um, especially Michelangelo, um, the Renaissance love of the nude, um, the male nude, for example, Michelangelo's David, um, the female nude, and so I play with some of these ideas in my videos. Um, when I was in grade 12, I took an art history course and became very interested in representations of the body as well as of landscapes. Um, and so I, I play with those ideas as well. Um, the representation of woman in particular in Western art. All the problematics of it, for example, the male gaze, um, the tendency for men to objectify women. Um, these are very problematic and very real issues. Um, the sexualization of women. Um, so, um, I, I, I feel that um, there is a quality of beauty that I'm looking for um, and I'm hoping that um, with my feeling of respectfulness and um, care um, and really orientation towards the soul, um, getting at the naked soul um, through the, the beauty of the body and the beauty of people's personalities, their expressions, their actions, as I try to show in the characters um, in my videos, uh, that these are all um, reflections of the soul and um, part of the soul's need uh, for beauty. As we watch these videos, we feel perhaps attracted to the female characters or their mannerisms or their accent, something about them. And, um, and our need for beauty is, is met. Um, so, uh, yeah, just a little video about beauty. Thanks for watching.